Good morning, everyone. Um, it's Friday morning, uh, and uh, it's the bank holiday. Um, I saw something on Facebook yesterday along the lines of, just in case you're confused about which day it is, uh, bank holiday Monday is now on a Friday this year. Um, but of course it's on a Friday for a particular reason, uh, and it's the uh, anniversary of uh, VE Day. Um, and uh, we will think about that in church, in our service on Sunday. We will, it'll be the focus of our prayers uh, and other places. Um, and it'll also be a little bit of a focus today as well as we think through the last section uh, on the Lord's Prayer. Uh, and so let me read the Lord's Prayer to you one more time uh, from Matthew 6. Pray then like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Or some translations say deliver us from the evil one. Today, this uh, anniversary, this uh, VE Day anniversary, obviously was supposed to be a big celebration um, out there, uh, all sorts of stuff going on up and down the country uh, in order to celebrate this occasion. And it will still be marked. Uh, and there's going to be a message from the, the Queen tonight. And uh, there are various other um, things that are planned for the day in order to mark this in whatever way we can uh, in lockdown. But of course, what this day reminds us of uh, is uh, that 75 years ago, people were celebrating because they had been delivered uh, from the evil of war. Uh, but uh, behind that, the evil of Nazism in Europe, uh, that that uh, horrific, uh, demonic, uh, racist cult um, which had taken control, had finally uh, come to its end. And uh, we celebrate that we are delivered from that evil. Uh, and of course the evil one stands behind that, behind the evil of, of humanity. We pray, we pray this prayer, deliver us from evil today in the midst of a, a different uh, crisis facing our world, in the midst of the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, and whatever you might think about viruses and the natural world, certainly what we see around us uh, in the midst of this crisis is evidence of a broken world, of a fallen world, of a world that is still under the influence, uh, to some degree at least, of the evil one. This virus is producing evil effects, isolation, loneliness, suspicion, fear, all kinds of things. And of course, the evil one, our enemy, can use this crisis, can use it to divide us, can use it to um, make us suspect other people on the street, can use it to make us judgmental of one another, can use it to, um, within our own minds and hearts, to increase that sense uh, of loneliness and isolation it can be used by the evil one for all sorts of things ultimately whenever we come into the time of trial we thought about yesterday the time of testing uh, the evil one uh, is right there with us to try and knock us off course and he'll do it a number of ways he'll do it by making us suspect is god really good in this situation is god really good and he'll get us to look around and look at how grim life is. He'll get us to focus on all the negative things of life. And then he'll get us to ask the question, does God really love me? Looking around at all this, all that's going on, does God really love me? And then he'll get us to make the next step. <clears throat> and the next step is to say, God, if you really loved me, you would give me what I want. The step of manipulating God, of trying to get him to do the things that we want him to do right now. And then after the step of manipulation, when God doesn't, doesn't be manipulated by us because he's God and is not uh, capable of being manipulated, well, then we just decide to take charge ourselves and do it our own way. We stop trusting him. We start trusting ourselves. And that is the essence of all sin. 
Instead, I see what we should do is turn to God and say, deliver us from evil. Deliver us from the evil one. What we see around us now is not the full picture of reality. We've thought about that from time to time, uh, about how God pulls back this curtain uh, in the book of Revelation and shows us that he is on the throne, that reality is not as it seems to us with our naked eyes. He is on the throne. He is making all things new. And we can trust him even in the midst of evil circumstances. And so how should we respond when the evil one tries to twist this, tries to use it for his own purposes? Well, we should respond in prayer. Uh, the Lord's Prayer uh, is the prayer that has been given to us. But I want us to focus today just on that, on that phrase, deliver us from the evil one. And I want to lead you in prayer just now uh, as we pray together, deliver us from the evil one. So let's pray. Father, in this time of test that we have been brought into, we pray that you would deliver us from the evil one. Renew our minds by your word. Help us to keep reading, to keep studying, to keep listening for your voice so that we can discern what is your good and perfect will. Give us thankful hearts. Focus on the positive things, not the negatives. Focus on all the things that are coming out of this time um, that are, are good, that are positive, that are potentially hopeful. And help us to give thanks to you, to continue to remember that our very lives are given us by you. And when we doubt your love, Lord God, take us to the cross where we see again the depth of your love in Jesus Christ. And give us worshipping hearts that know that you are God, that you cannot be manipulated, you cannot be controlled, you are sovereign, you are Lord, uh, and you love us. And then give us trusting hearts that submit to you alone, that resist the temptation to do it our own way, and give ourselves to you to let you work in our lives. Do this in us, we pray, Lord God, today. And in so doing, deliver us from the evil one. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless. And uh, uh, we'll see you again soon. Um, uh, and we'll be doing another series uh, from Monday. So take care until then. Bye.